Hi guys, it's officially summertime here in the UK and that can only mean one thing. Yep, for the next six weeks solid, it's gonna be raining every single day. And what's the worst problem that you're gonna face as a motorist when you're driving in the rain? Well, number one, it's gonna be poor visibility. But number two, it's gonna be window wiper juddering, just like this. That is one horrible noise, but in this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to rectify it. Wiper blade juddering, also known as windshield wiper chatter, occurs when the wiper blades skip, vibrate, or produce an uneven wiping surface on the windshield. Now, wiper blade juddering is caused by many factors, such as your glass may have a coating on, meaning that the rain gets repelled so quickly the wipers can't perform properly. So you're basically using wipers on dry glass even though it's raining because the water can't settle on it, meaning there's no lubrication in between the blade and the surface of the glass. Or to put it simply, the water just can't get a grip. Or it could be the complete opposite and they may be contaminated with dirt. And the most common problem I see is the green mold which forms over the rubber. Or they could just be very old and wiper blades can deteriorate from UV rays, causing them to have microscopic tears or imperfections. So it's all about the process of elimination. Ideally you need to have a clean car, but if you can't be bothered to do that, at least you've got to make sure that you have a clean windscreen. And I have made a dedicated video all about glass cleaning and it does go more in depth on how you can get perfect glass without using glass cleaner at all. And I will put a link to that in the description below. This process merely takes a few seconds and it's very easy for beginners to get along with. Okay, so we now have a clean windscreen, but it doesn't necessarily mean that these blades are gonna move smoothly. Let's not forget it's the wiper blades themselves that are starting to judder. So it's most probably gonna be some contamination on them. And let's not forget whenever you wash your car, this is one of the most commonly missed areas. So if you look closely, I'm gonna spray some glass cleaner onto a white cloth and we're just gonna rub the wiper blade and I bet it comes out really dirty. Wow, look at that. So if you've made it this far and you're still getting squeaky wiper blades, there's something else we can do. So we can all agree that this glass is clean, but at this point we're not quite there yet because it's not completely decontaminated. If I rub my hand over it, it does feel very rough to the touch. And although it could just be stone chips, there is a lot of fallout and all sorts of contamination just from driving it excessively over the years. So we need to now remove that. And this is where the clay bar is gonna come in. Now there's many different types of clay bars out there, but I've got this one from Soft99 that I received about a year ago and I still haven't used it. So I thought it's a good time to get it out. And this one's called Smooth Egg. Why they call it that, I don't know. Maybe it's just better in the mornings. So I'm just gonna take some glass cleaner and lubricate the surface. Don't have a go at me for putting a bottle there on the bonnet. And we're just gonna go over it in crisscross patterns. So up, down, left, right, that's it. And by doing this, we're just going to pull out as much contamination as possible. And it should sound quite rough when you're running it over the glass. And you basically keep going till it goes smoother and it feels really smooth. If you wanna play it safe, break it up into smaller pieces because if you do drop it on the floor, you're not gonna be able to use it again. So I'm rubbing my smooth egg over the glass. Oh my God, imagine people outside there listening now to what I'm saying. So I'm rubbing the smooth egg over the glass and now it doesn't feel rough to touch at all. I can feel it's so nice and smooth. Everything's just running over beautifully. So if you don't like clay bars, there are a few other options such as clay blocks, clay mitts and clay towels. All will get you the same results. Okay, so we now have the glass completely decontaminated but I just wanna pull the camera in a little bit closer because there's something else that I need you to see, which could be the reason why these blades are actually juddering. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but if you look very closely, this windscreen is completely covered. I mean, it's got more chips in McDonald's. It's absolutely horrendous. And there's microscopic scratches and I can see this huge blade effect where the wipers have gone over and it's just smeared everything. So you can see where the wipers have actually gone. That could be playing such a huge factor with this windscreen. I mean, I can see it clear as day here. So I do need you to remember this because next time you're using, let's just say a glass sealant, it may not be the sealant that is causing the juddering. It really just could be poor windscreens. So wiper blades will judder when there isn't a vast amount of water on the surface of the windscreen. So what we're going to do now is simulate that because I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's not even raining outside. So we're just gonna sprinkle some water from a synthetic leather 
onto the glass and then we're going to put the wipers on and just see what happens. For those of you who blame sealants entirely for the juddering, I need you to see this because this glass is free from dirt, contamination and sealants and watch what happens next. Still juddering. Now let's see once and for all if glass sealants can really fix this problem. And I did pick this one up last year, but I still hadn't had time to use it. So I thought, what better opportunity? And this is Glaco DX from Soft99. And the previous Glaco sealant, in my opinion, was already one of the best out there. But I heard that this one's even better. So hopefully this can put an end to that pesky juddering. So there is one more thing you have to take on board whenever you are applying any of these coatings to your windscreen. And you just got to apply some to the wiper blades as well, because by doing this, it's going to further reduce any risk of juddering because it's a common thing you see whenever somebody applies a coating, they always say, oh, it's the coating that made it judder. And no, it's not necessarily the case. The aim of the game here is to leave it on for around five to 10 minutes and apply in a cool shady spot before removing it. And speaking of removing, you just need to wipe it away with a damp cloth and then you need to follow up afterwards with a dry cloth. It's as simple as that. And for the wipers, I simply applied it and removed it one minute later because personally, I don't know myself whether it's better or worse to leave it on longer. So that's something only time will tell. Okay, so we've taken off all the sealant with a damp towel, followed it up with a dry one and now we're ready to see. We've left it 10 minutes. So I'm going to run the wipers, but instead of putting any water on it, I'm gonna do it whilst they're dry. Before we show you what happens next, I want you to get involved in the video. And I want you to let me know in the comments the biggest problems you find when cleaning a car. So what's the one thing that you struggle with the most? And the best answer I receive in the next 30 days will have a dedicated video made on that topic. And they will also have a mention on the channel. Oh my word, here we go. Right, ready for this? Will it make any noise? No way. No juddering, that is bone dry. You can see it for yourself. That is completely dry and there is absolutely no juddering. So this just goes to prove my point once and for all. Now, if you use these products properly, you should be able to get exactly the right results that you're hoping for. You're not gonna get wiper blade juddering. Simply apply some onto the blades. That could just be the difference between a product being good or bad when it comes to reviewing it. Just think about these little finer details whenever you carry out this process. Now, if you love videos like this and you wanna know more about glass cleaning for that matter, especially when you're working outside and you're trying to get a street free finish, then I have made the ultimate glass cleaning video that you can go and watch right here. It's gone, I've dropped it down here. Oh, we can edit that bit out later, don't worry.